Hello. So as we know, power companies burn coal to make a lot of their energy, such as our utility, Duke Energy. And um, coal contains a ton of toxic chemicals, such as arsenic, radium, carcinogens, and metals. After this coal is burned in coal plants to make energy, the toxic chemicals become concentrated in a waste product of coal ash. Different types of coal ash include fly ash, bottom ash, and sludge from uh, blue, gla blue glass um, desulfurization units. And these, all these types of coal ash contain those toxic chemicals that I mentioned that coal contains. In the United States, approximately 100 million tons of coal ash are produced annually from the burning of coal. This is devastating because power companies dump um, coal ash into these deep holes in the ground, kind of like landfills. And this coal ash can often come into contact with drinking water. This water in contact can pick up those toxic chemicals and carry them downward into the ground and to the groundwater. Sometimes there is so much coal ash that the coal ash is deeper than the groundwater in the ground. This makes the groundwater soaked in coal ash. And this exacerbates the public health of communities as it makes drinking water toxic. Poor coal ash management can also lead to disastrous spills, which can um, is often like a mudslide um, sliding into um, habitats like rivers. And this can devastate ecosystems, which John will talk more about. One example of a coal ash spill is in 1967, where a coal ash dam breaks and releases the coal ash, killing 217,000 fish and poisoning other vertebrates 77 miles downstream in Clinch River, VA. Coal ash is not only harmful when a large amount of it spills out, it compounds are normally just pits in the dirt. The coal ash seeps through the earth into waterways, which poisons organisms both on the ground and underneath. The toxic chemicals inside the coal ash causes severe deformations in fish, birds, vertebrates, and other organisms if living in a polluted area. Such as this, the fish on the right is a normal fish, and the one on the left has been poisoned by the coal ash. The ash endangers a lot of southern rivers, making them some of the worst endangered. This pollution is also harmful because it takes a lot of economic costs to repair, and the environment suffers greatly from this, and the cost to help the environment is gigantic. Not only is coal ash harmful to environments, it's also harmful to the human body. It contains heavy metals that are digest and when digested can cause a, var a variety of impacts. These include cancer and nervous system impacts like behavioral problems and developmental delays. It can also ca cause heart damage, lung disease, respiratory distress, kidney disease, reductive re re reproductive problems, gastronomical illness, birth defects, and impaired bone growth in children. These are only some of the effects. There's a lot more effects of coal ash. The EPA has found that if you live near coal a coal ash pond and you get water from a well, you have a one in 50 chance of getting cancer from arsenic. This is a very high percentage and it is very dangerous to live near a coal ash pond, especially because it, it always go, comes in the drinking water and it is not safe at all to have a pond of coal ash. Coal ash is the second largest waste stream in the US estimated to be 140 million tons and for one of the most dangerous waste products having it as the second largest waste is a really big problem for the u.s coal ash is deposited into ponds or landfills or abandoned mines and these if they're near like people and cities that they just pollute the entire area and uh ponds are even worse than the landfills because they're just open-ended and it's like if you, it just seeps into the drinking water. And some landfills have no protective liner and that just a pit in the ground. Coal ash can be recycled, but there's, every time it's recycled, there's a risk that it will still get in the water. 
because even if it's recycled and it gets into drinkable water, it is still toxic to human body and to environment. And coal ash should be only stored in dry, safe landfills where it cannot leak into any water or environment. Coal ash is very dangerous and we need better regulations. Yeah, and there are um, several different solutions. One solution includes um, using coal ash in construction materials, kind of like a recycling um, type thing. But the best way to prevent coal ash pollution is to stop burning coal so there isn't toxic coal ash produced in the first place. That is the future of where we need to go to stop this devastating pollution. And yeah, I hope you learned something today and um, you know about the toxic um, disaster of coal ash. Thank you.